。さあ、安倉先生。はい。えー、っとスタジオがバックにあります。はい。えー、ソングバートスタジオ。今日はお勉強会一日目ということで。頑張ろう。俺の人見知りが炸裂しておりますが<笑>。何回来てもあなたは炸裂してますよね。<笑>同じ人たちに会うのに。あのしばらく会わないとね、ちょっとね。嫌になっちゃうの、ね。嫌になっちゃう。よくわからないですね。今日も頑張っていきましょう。はい、行ってみましょう。はい、じゃあ。Well, we practice the thigh with joint, and that joint allows movement in in a translational sense of forward backward. But it also allows movement in a rotational sense,、uh, and it's a combination of those two movements in this joint that allows you to get the length that you're looking for.、Mm. And typically, a human can increase their vocal fold length from the shortest to the longest on roughly you know, or、uh, a factor of two. So, if you look at the shortest length you can make and the longest, that's roughly a two-to-one、uh, change. I say roughly because we all have very And, and one of the differences that you ought to know, in, as, as being singing teachers, is that some people have a very, very tight architecture in their larynx, and they, their the cartilages just don't rotate or translate very much. And、uh, and others can have a lot of movement there. And so whether that's one is an advantage, the other is a disadvantage, we're not quite sure yet because maybe a tight architecture allows you to keep your larynx. Uh, stable longer into later years,、uh, whereas maybe if you have a lot of looseness between them, then maybe it will deteriorate faster. But that's just a hypothesis. But certainly,、um, it's, it would be an advantage to have a lot of space between the cartilages where you can create a lot of length change. Then、uh, let's look at the. Microanatomy of the vocal folds first. Our vocal fold is made up of multiple layers of tissue, and we like to think of the of it as a fiber gel structure. So the gel-like material is this material right here. Okay, first we have a skin on the outside. Then we have a gel-like material. <coughs> Under deeper from the gel, we have the ligament. And、uh, sometimes the ligament is divided into two pieces, but what's important about the ligament it is very much fibers, and the fibers go all the way from one end of the vocal folds to the other, and that happens during development.、Uh, when a child is first born, we don't have this organization yet. The vocal folds are pretty much gel-like throughout. There isn't much muscle structure there yet in terms of fibers, and there isn't much ligament yet. All of that comes in at age roughly three to four or five or so, and that's the the first important part of development is to take all these fibers that are initially kind of randomly oriented, and by extending and、uh, releasing and extending the vocal folds,、uh, that alignment will take place. And it's been shown with one or two. Uh, papers that came out where a child that had cerebral palsy and never spoke, and the larynx was made available after death and at an early age, and they could see there was no alignment of the fibers. They, in other words, the、uh, the、uh, vocal folds did not develop into this very uh, fibrous uh, alignment. Um,